Hey there UK ADCers, we've got an unboxing here. This one should be pretty exciting. This is my first second hand knife. The uh, second hand market obviously on the UK being a bit, a bit sparse. Uh, certainly nowhere near the scale of the US. But um, this knife uh, I was sort of hesitant to pick this one up, but I should be doing a review on this, you know, as long as this unboxing goes well. But, um, the prices on this new are astronomical, so, uh, I mean, you'll already know what this is because of the title, but... Ah, oh, good, it's in its original box. That's lovely. bit beaten up but I, I honestly don't care it's got the original box so uh, that would just be some tape that was taken off I guess this is where it's a complete lemon and there's nothing like what I was promised <laughs> ah, just a bit of oil he's oh man this guy's done everything he's oiled it up for me Oh, wow, yeah, it doesn't look anywhere near as, like, um, this is the, obviously the Spyderco pits, as you already knew. Oh, yes. Oh, I was a little bit worried about this one, because a lot of people say, um, getting your thumb in that stud hole there is a major pain in the ass. I don't know if it's because this one's used and already broken in, or if it's because they're taught in... Talking about the bollocks, uh, I'm going to assume it's a mix of both. Oh yeah, I'm a fan of that. Um, this is one of those ones where you're, you're unsure about until you get hold of it. I mean, obviously honeymoon period, but... Very early honeymoon period. Who knows, in like a... In a month I might fucking hate this. But right now... Again, we've got the, <laughs> the Spyderco wire clip there, which um, they're a bit sucky, but for me anyway. I wouldn't say sucky, just, you know, less than perfect. Less than ideal. I prefer, like, that's much more up my alley. If that was deep carry. Um, sort of that style I like a lot better, as long as it's a dark colour. But yeah, that's like a blurple, blurple titanium. Oh, that is fantastic. Okay, so. Fits absolutely lovely in the hand. It's got that. Yep, that fantastic Mike Reed design where as long as you keep your thumb over here, it's nigh on impossible to break that lock up because... To close the blade, you have to obviously push that lever up. I'm hoping it's focused. There we go. Yeah, that lever there. Now, um, I purchased this for 170. Uh, I sent the chap uh, 180 just for fees and stuff because um, PayPal and shipping and all that lot. But he was a, a very, very nice chap. I purchased this off. New, they're asking 380. You can get it from a German site for like 350. There are sites where this is out of stock where it's about 280. That I would say is reasonable because this is titanium. And um, now I, I really like N690 CO just from my experience with the Dan 2. A lot of people, however, um, just would class it as a mess steel. I know that's big talk coming from me, who was, um, you know, less than kind to BD1N. Uh, but, um, yeah, I do actually quite like N690CO. Not going to lie, I would have preferred S110V or 20CV, something like that. But I am, you know, I'm fine with this. Would not pay 380 for this steel. Uh, 
definitely not. If this was Max Cement or L Max, that would just, you know. But uh, I don't see us getting a Max Cement or L Max or you know crazy rare super steel UK legal carry knife anytime soon or ever, especially now that on the day of recording that new offensive weapons bill has been ascended by the crown or whatever although it looks like they've eased up on the delivery thing you know especially seeing as i actually got these um yeah so there's a little bit of wear but that happens uh that's a big old problem with these if you care about that kind of thing i like, like I've said before, I really like to use mine, so this would have happened one way or the other, and it looks a lot better in person than it does on camera. Um, it's a lot more muted in person. I think this might just be my new favourite Spyderco. We'll have to see, of course. I've not actually ever used this yet. Ah, uh, yeah, standard shit, so that's what it will have looked like brand new. Uh, sorry, the lighting in here is god-awful today. It's a bit of a shit day outside. Um, yeah, so very, very happy with that. Not too heavy at all. Um larger than most especially for a uk legal carry and uh, i've obviously i've done my research on this i happen to know mike reed uh, designed this specifically to fall exactly in line with the uk legal uh, the uk laws so this is um about as much as you can get and uh, i i really appreciate that this is easily closable there isn't a half stop which i like Nice snappy shot. That spidey hole is very easily gravel. Can you uh, imagine if you could flip it? Oh, no chance though. That is not happening. <laughs> of course not. But it's it's entirely doable. Uh, I've got an injured finger as well from uh, getting it crushed. So there are certain knives like the Recon One that I can't even open at the moment. But um, this one's fine. And yet, it has one of the strongest lockups going. This is where I cut my finger off, you watch. But yeah, like I can. There we go. But again, even with that, like the, obviously the reason for that flipper tab, that obviously isn't a flipper tab, that little protrusion there is your finger safety, which I'm also a great fan of. Yeah, very happy with that. Um, you know, this isn't going to have a warranty on it anyway, is it? You know the drill. Oh wait, before I do that, I always neglect to do this, centering. Okay, that is really shit focus. There we go. So far as I can tell, spot on. But um, again, I'm sure there's someone out there that will tell me why I'm completely wrong. Go on, Spyderco, be all T8s again. Yes. Oh, that is one loose. Fuck it, I can undo these by hand. Okay, they are all T8 again. I said it before. I said it again. Like if you can, if you can standardise your hardware, uh, you've won me over. Like that's a, a huge thing for me. I am absolutely going to have to thread lock some of these though. These are coming out so easy, but I'm gonna 
I'm going to de-dust the inside of this as well. Oh my god. Don't think I'll need thread locker for these though. I mean, obviously I will after I've undone them, but... Oh yeah, that was thread locker to shit. As was that. So what have we got? A G10 backspacer, it feels like. That's a titanium scale and just please don't go everywhere. That is going. Right, the back's free. Water's holding us up on the front there. Ah, there we go. Okay. Oh no. Let's not lose that to the infinity. Oh shit, I've got to figure out where that went then. Oh, I will say this though, the inside blue is a much nicer blue. So when you first got this, it would have been like that fantastic, brilliant blue there. And now it's like a blurple, which again, I'm, I'm fine with that color, but I would prefer the original. Stop it, cat. Okay, so we've got all captive pins. God, I need a workbench or something. Yeah, that's right, just grab that by the blade, why not? Um. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is a nice... Is that just a weight saving hole? Hmm. Don't look stupid now. I was about to say, this is a nice, simple, easy knife to take apart and put back together. Okay, where the shit did this come from? Oh, did that come from in there? Well, it fucking fits. There's a random pin in there for some reason. Okay then. Why not? <laughs> oh shit, yeah, I need to get some thread locker. So yeah, obviously phosphor bronze washers, which is lovely to see. This video better not be entirely out of focus. And there we go, through the magic of editing, it's all back together with thread locker. Back to good centering. And I've cleaned out all the insides. Very nice now. You know. If you could see it properly, I'm hoping that will come out. But yeah, um... I'm liking this quite a lot right now, so uh, we'll have to, I'll certainly EDC this tonight I think. But yeah, that's a, a very hard to come by knife that is, the uh, pie in the sky. Uh, look forward to that one coming up even though it's probably going to be a useless review since it's a really over expensive or difficult to get hold of knife. Oh well, all the best guys.